all these lines. Oh, really? A deal? Hi, Stella. Do you want some jewelry? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at Junk in the Trunk Flea Market near Ocala, Florida. All right, so they've got some food trucks right up front, but we will walk by those and see what we can find. I have exactly $60 in my pocket. So we we're gonna make it a challenge. I didn't have time to go to the ATM. So we'll do what we can, try to find the best things that we can for resale. They have some of these Coca-Cola trays here. Looks like some newer ones. You can usually tell, well, that one's dated, but you can usually tell by the quality on those, the old ones from the new. Why does this look so different? I think they have this in a different area. Oh, they've got really pretty crystal bowls here. I like crystal. And then the marigold carnival glass up top. Oh, this is fun. They've got these like little horse things here. It's a redware pottery, 75 cents for the horse ashtray. I, you know, that's beautiful glaze and I don't pick up very many ashtrays and that's a great price. They also have this larger one here. This one has a chip on it, I can see. I think I'll get this one. It's a cute little thing. They've got some picture frames here. Make offer on that bronze statue. See a little Christmas bulbs. Some embroidery. Hi. Large picture. Lots of newer things. I think we will just get this here for 75 cents or a dollar. I'll round up. It's our first item. And Ocala, Florida is known as the horse capital. Kentucky. People think of Kentucky, not Ocala, Florida, but that's what they say online. I pass by little tiki cups like this pretty often at different places. And I'm always hesitant to buy them because I just don't know the age. I mean, I'm not sure if they're like a newer thing or what. Of course, they made these like in Japan and a lot of them are mid-century, but you know, when there's so many like this, especially, I'm just, it's, I don't know, because it's a pretty popular thing, the whole tiki mug thing, so it's hard for me to buy them. That's a nice, like, Mexican turtle. I don't know what the weather's going to do today. It's, like, very clear on this side, but then if you look behind us, it's gray. But that's Florida for you. You just never know what you're going to get. It's very nice, though. The weather is extremely great. There are a lot of vendors, and they did definitely switch this up. So it's arranged differently. I kind of prefer it this way. It's a little bit more, I don't know, interesting somehow. Oh, well, this hamper's only $5. I just bought one, but the one I bought is a little bit larger, and the lining come out comes out so that you can, like, take it with you to the laundry area. Which is nice, but that's good, five bucks. Wow. I just noticed these little Siamese cats. They're they're really fun. They're I think they're made in Japan and they hang over like a bowl or something, like a fish tank. So I got both of them for 15. Very nice. Okay, yeah, so we're doing pretty well. I got the two for 15. That put a pretty big dent in my $60, obviously. But they are cool and I have sold them before. Those Siamese cat, uh, they hang over your bowl, like I said. Like over, not a toilet bowl, over your fish tank bowl or something. Or a shelf, if you've got like a secure shelf. So, I think they'll do pretty well for me. At first he said individually $10, and there was two of them. So I said, well, what would you do for two, for both of them? And he said 15 so that was good for me. This booth got me last time. 50% off sale, except it's only the front ones. Yet all the signs are pink, so they kind of like make you think that everything is 50% off, even though it's not. Just the stuff up front here. Because really there's like great stuff back there, but that's full price. So, this is the 50% off stuff. Oh, they have some of these Vantines thingies. The little hugging, uh, are they Vantines? I think they are Vantines. Oh, a corkscrew one of those root things. That was one of the first things I sold on Etsy like six years ago. One of these corks. Okay, thanks. And they've got the little dice. Yeah, the corkscrew is $18. Half of that is nine and that's about what they sell for. Yeah, they're doing some sort of fall festival thing over on that part and it seems like they're really developing that 
for special events and all kinds of things. But there's like pumpkins over there and that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So just beyond the porta potty, we will find more vintage things, I hope. Now this booth I'm a fan of. I always like the booths where they have like tables and each table is a price because you can just go wild. It's like the Dollar Tree or the Five Below store or something. So I mean that one over there, a dollar each table. This one is the five dollar each table. And then this one's also still five dollars over here. Oh wow, there's Lucille Ball advertisement with Chesterfield cigarettes. That's interesting because I know that she advertised Philip Morris. <laughs> when was this from? 49. Maybe that was right before. I live, well, that would have been before she started doing the um, I Love Lucy. I mean, nothing's really jumping out at me. I'm trying to be a little bit more like, okay, let's try something different. But, I mean, what am I going to do with a cabinet pull? Or a McDonald's toy. So, let's look in the dollar table, maybe? Which is right over here. We might have better luck. Oh, they've got a little cloisonne section. Oh, and then the jewelry as well, $5. Oh, how much is the turkey? That's $5 too? Yes. Yeah, okay, so all of this is a dollar each. Well, I mean, it's kind of a mixture of jewelry. So they have a lot of Courier and Ive prints right here, which is pretty cool. For a dollar each. It's a great art moment, you know. I think originally it would have been five, but these are so nice. You could do like, oh wow, look at those. You could, you know, go wild with some of these. Frame them. That's beautiful. Lake Mem Memphis something. A dollar each though. Wow, that's so good. I think I'll get some of these. Oh, look at the little pheasant things. A home and country. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that estate. I'm going to get some of these. The Hazel Atlas Platinite dishes from the 40s. Those are fun. And the blue, the cobalt blue there. The pastels back there. That's neat as well. Any item, $3 each or two for five. That's pretty good. See, it's like the sun's coming out and then not. and then It's really good, though. The weather is fantastic, all, all in all. And I'm so happy with my prints that I've got. All these different little prints by Courier and Ives. I meant junk in the trunk. <laughs> junk in the trunk. Junk in the trunk. Oh, they've got the uh, character glasses from, I think, what, uh, Burger King or somewhere like that. Does it say? Sometimes they say. It's, I don't know. I don't think it's McDonald's. It might be Burger King. No, no, oh, those stretching cats. Yoga kittens. Are these Homer Laughlin? Let me see. No, it's Lou Ray. Of course, Lou Ray. Lou Ray is really pretty. Mm. Nice. Oh, look at those Afghans, the granny square. It's just like the Roseanne one. You know, Roseanne, the, the, the one they have on their couch. I feel a little sprinkle, just a little sprinkle. And my back is already hurting. I'm halfway through, I think. Maybe a little bit more than halfway through. And luckily I can walk through a lot of this because it's just like stuff I don't want. Clothes, things like that. Or new things. Like these are all like buckets and stuff. Very useful for people, of course, but not for me. Not for resale. Funko Pops. No. Okay. So there's a couple more aisles to go. I guess something about this terrain, the, the ground being all like it is, makes it especially hard to walk on. And I do have scoliosis and that's, you know, an ongoing problem. But, I, you know, I'm looking for the jewelry lady. She usually has some really good stuff here. I haven't seen her though. I haven't seen the jewelry lady because I get lots of good stuff from her. So maybe we'll find her. I don't know where she's at though. I don't know. 
I love these little Linux figurines. There's the dolphin and the elephant. They're $2 each. I'm always drawn to these little guys. Two bucks. Let me check him over. He looks good. Let's look at the dolphin. Dolphin? Also good. I think I'll get both of those. Look at this box. That's really cool, actually. Somebody glued all those on there. So I will get both of the Linux. Those are gonna be good. I'll leave my stuff right there for a second. You've got this little gal here. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, look at this little goober. She's angry, look at her eyes. Oh, she's angry. What happened to her? Well, that's neat, this little thing. Well, that's metal. That's neat as well. Oh, look at these ornaments. Four dollars. It's like a grab bag full of handmade things. That's fun, really. I think I'll just get the Linux for now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Very good. I just found these little composite eggs here. They're so adorable with their little pictures on them. Uh, this one here is 80, 1984. We've got this little... These are so nice. They're kind of fashioned after the Western Germany ones. I think some of them might be on the inside. Yeah, that one says Western Germany. But they're so pretty for Easter time. So I'll get all three of those for $5. And then there's this one there. It's really adorable. It's like a train over there. The sprinkles have a little bit subsided, which is nice. I got the three German, I mean, one of them is German. Well, maybe a couple of them are. They have one of these dachshunds. The dresser caddies. Oh, I could see that he's been broken. Oh, these lions. Oh, really? A deal? Okay. Here, like, look at that little Dalmatian dog. Five dollars for the brooch. I'm gonna get that. And then I noticed this one here. It's twenty but it's from India, and it's like a little purse thing. Isn't that adorable? So I'm gonna consider that one. I don't have a ton of cash on me anymore. So, and then this scorpion, seven. I love that natural stone on there, and that little scorpion, and it's a pendant, so they have seven on that one, on agate. So that one is kind of interesting to me as well. These are thimbles. Those are adorable. Oh, well, this ring is cute. It's 20, silver with the art glass. This is beautiful too. That is lovely. That stone. That timber. I love that. Okay, I just got a ton of jewelry and she worked out a price for me and I'm very happy about it. So maybe at the end of the video I'll do like a quick show and tell of the jewelry because there was so much that I got that I did definitely not record. Some silver pieces, some costume jewelry, brooches, uh, necklaces I think. Oh look, they've got the the uh, desert rose pattern there by uh, uh, Franciscan dishware. Franciscan earthenware. Oh, and they've got uh, yes, ceramic that's, that's trees, exactly the penguin ice bucket. I've sold many, many of those. Penguin ice bucket with the Bakelite handles. They have the Franciscan desert rose shakers there too. Oh, look at this Hardy's mug. That's neat. <laughs> Hardy's breakfast mug. That's cool. That's from 1993. So I just bought 16 more pieces of jewelry. <laughs> I did not record looking through all of that, but at the end of this video, I will show you those other 16 that I got. They were a dollar each. And I was like, okay. Now, the deal that I worked up with the other person with all that jewelry, I'm not counting towards my $60 because she accepted PayPal which is good because I definitely don't have enough cash on me so I will send her a PayPal payment for the uh, all the jewelry that I bought from her. $68? Wow. That is really Art Deco looking. I got so much great jewelry. I will probably do a miniature haul back at the house. Oh, they've got fruit cups and all kinds of things. Oh, that looks so good. Do I want a fruit cup? Walk-ins, baby hair lashes. Oh, that's not the, okay. That's two separate things. 
it's almost a ritual that I have to get the Italian ice on my way out. So let's see what we can get here. They've got, I've, I've had different flavors now and I can't remember which ones I have liked the best or not, but I will get one of these for sure. I have the pineapple and coconut in the Italian ice and I just, it's such a good mixture here. So that will be my little treat for on the drive home. It's about a 30 minute drive and then we will do the uh, little haul. Now this is all of the jewelry that I picked up from the one person that gave me a bulk deal. And then I'm gonna show you the pieces that I got that were a dollar each. So, little strawberry, that's a brooch. Got that. This is nice, rhinestone necklace and earrings. But it's like this like little diamonds in there. It's beautiful. These are really cool. They're earrings of like little wolves. So they're, they're kind of hard to see in the plastic though. Then I got these little clips, like a clip on earrings. They kind of match maybe that one or this one with the rhinestones. That's beautiful. Now this was, I was told was a, made out of like a real butterfly. And then it's sterling, no. Yeah, silver and gold 1960s with German real butterfly. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Let's take a look at it actually. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Hi Stella, do you want some jewelry? So yeah, that's, oh, and then on the back it tells, this one is beautiful. This was, uh, it says amber and silver marked, but it's beautiful. I love the way that, that light hits that amber there. And I love the setting that it's in, that kind of deco look to it. And then this one here, I thought those were cute for Christmas, little clip on earrings. Oh, those were neat and then this one here silver and amber love the little diamond on that one this poodle brooch i thought that was adorable i like this green one Isn't that nice little green brooch and then this scorpion i think i showed that that was really wonderful this is turquoise she actually knows the difference between turquoise and and not and was kind of trying to tell me about it um, so she said this was turquoise uh, from India because apparently there's different kinds of turquoise depending on where they are getting it from. So China, India, Mexico. So there's all different and they vary what they look like. Look at this little guy. I love the moon and it's like little black, maybe obsidian or something. It's lovely, that little black moon. I had to get the, the Dalmatian. This was really neat. This bracelet. It's 15 and it's of these cactus. Like clamshell type. Isn't that neat? Little cactus. And then this acrylic one. So with the dried flowers inside of it. For all of these items, I dug through like a giant box full of stuff. And, and I found quite a lot. So... All of this, like I said, was a dollar each. Oh no, I just noticed that this was broken. Well, nuts. So that's a misfortunate thing. But I got this little gal here with her hat. I got this owl. Isn't that lovely? A little owl. Uh, this is a beautiful, colorful ring. I thought this shell necklace was, was pretty. This is a great stand for earrings. So I thought that was fun. This little key necklace that's beautiful with the the little rhinestones on there like that. And then this necklace here has like leather straps on there. This, I don't know what this is. I didn't even open the bag, but if, <laughs> if anybody knows, maybe it's like an, a bracelet, but like multiple. I just thought it was pretty because of all these nice little flashy things here. But, um, yep. This one, look at all the flowers on that. That's that's quite stunning. I liked this because it's blue. I thought that was really a pretty one and that could work for a lot of things. It's a little bit of elastic. This is nice with all of the little teardrop type. Are those squid? I don't know, little things. This was very cool. I like the Art Deco vibe to it. It says 1946 on that part there. I don't know what this, it's like a C in the 1946. This little owl, it has feathers, isn't that adorable? 
it's a necklace of course and this one's very like tropical so it has like these little I don't know if they're shells or what and then this little parrot hanging out there on the side or macaw and then this I thought was fun like very like early 90s right and it's like a really pretty bubblegum pink now these are all Curier and I've prints this man on his fishing expedition I liked this one because the it's a really pretty scene nice size too and then this one is at the fairgrounds I thought that was really nice on the back is part of a calendar from 1981 but you can definitely frame that it's just really cool this one's Yosemite Falls in California also a calendar back that's great life in the country I just that's a beautiful picture it's a pretty one really I like that the house is everything and then Lake Mem 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 on this one another calendar backing and then the wayside inn I thought that was really pretty I liked I liked the trees and the moon and everything here I thought that was really nice and then of course I got the two Siamese cat they do hang on like a bowl if you've got a bowl or a glass or something it, it works really well for that these were a great price at two dollars each little elephant and dolphin the ashtray is something that's fun I don't get to pick those up very often but I liked the fact that it was like a horseshoe and the and the horses and that beautiful glaze up top there so it's red wear these are cool and I will hang on to these for springtime and sell them five dollars is such a great price for these little eggs they're these composite paper made in western Germany with the sort of twall paper kind of thing in here and it says that container made in western Germany this one you could put these in like a milk glass bowl or something and then this one's riding his little scooter so it was a pretty successful morning so with that I'll wrap up this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye bye